to bisect an angle, first have an angle. Next, have a compass. In this case, a nice safety compass. Go ahead and put that brass ring right on the vertex of your angle. Step two, go ahead and create an arc that goes all the way through our angle. I'm just going to come out here and pick a nice mark. There we go. Doesn't matter how big or how small that arc is, make sure it goes through. Because now, the two points that we're concerned about is where that arc hits my angle. Those two points, super important. Those are going to be the two points that we use to find a bisector that's going to chop right through the middle here. Okay, so let's line up the little brass ring on our compass with one of those end points. And then, create an arc out here in the middle. Make sure that it is big enough that it's actually going to be in the middle. Remember, a bisector chops it in half. Which means if you're not somewhere here in the middle where that line's going to be, you're not doing yourself any good. So I'm going to create a nice arc here, obviously out here in the middle. Remember which hole you use there, because now you have to come over here and do the same thing. Just like we did over here, line up the brass ring with where our first arc hit the angle. Remember which hole you used, right there. Now, if you connect the vertex and that point where your two arcs crossed, that is going to perfectly bisect this angle. Let's see if it worked out. Oops. Alright, there we go. Don't worry about the little squiggle. Alright, now this top angle and bottom angle are perfectly congruent. Same size, which means we can use these cool little congruent marks. And that's how you bisect an angle.